you know, I was at home one summer and I read uh, James Watson's book, uh, The Molecular Biology of the Gene, and I just fell in love with it. And I thought, where can I go find out about this? And it was University of Texas in Dallas. You know, when I, when I went to interview as a grad student, I met with a guy named Dimitri Long. And he had this picture on his wall that was about three by five of the, the famous picture of DNA. And I said, where'd you get that picture? And he said, I took it. <laughs> and it's like, oh, really? <laughs> and, and he had been in Kleinschmidt's lab who developed electron microscopy of nucleic acids. And then everybody I talked to was like that. <laughs> it's like, this is incredible. John was a PhD student uh, working in the lab of Hans Bremer when I arrived at UT Dallas. And uh, uh, he had his lab adjacent to mine, and so we saw each other on a regular basis. He published 10 papers as a PhD student, which is, believe me, a lot for a student <laughs> uh, to have published in a couple of years that he was uh, productive. Uh, and so that sort of suggested that he had a lot of potential. Um, and so it's not really surprising, I think, that he, he has been such a success. Yeah, well, I'd never been challenged intellectually anywhere I was. I mean, not in high school, not in college. But when I got to UTD, I thought I was an idiot. You know, because these guys were ways, they were as smart as I was, but they had a lot more knowledge. And it was just that culture of stuff and people were achieving things and moving the science. And it just was great. Well, I did real well there. I, you know, proved that plants have innate immunity, which is a, it's a uh, characteristic of humans, and uh, plants have it too. You know, that's where I got from University of Texas in Dallas, and uh, seriously, it all started there. It's not surprising that John is receiving this uh, award because he has been so successful. Uh, he has uh, uh, solved problems uh, along the way. He's been creative doing it and he's taken risks when necessary, uh, and sometimes they haven't worked out, but often, more often than not, they have. I can't imagine having done these things without having been at, being at University of Texas at Dallas at that time. You know, I mean, it was just a very unique place. And, you know, everything I've done since then is because of UTD.